Hi folks, this is Chair. I just want to talk to you about the myth of neutrality, the myth of objectivity in atheism. The, the, the atheists have completely deluded themselves to think, well, we are the rational ones, we are the ones with the rational objectivity, and we, want, we, we just use the scientific method, and this is uh, our method, and we just come to Christianity, we analyze it in a rational, scientific way, and Christianity is found wanting, and therefore we have not got a, a, a rational uh, worldview with Christianity, and that's the way the atheists like to paint it. What they don't tell you is, that that's just a complete lie. You see, human beings are not just rational, they're moral. They're moral creatures. So this idea that we can have this uh, dichotomy, this separation between the rational and the moral, is a complete no-no. It's not, it's not true, it's not right, it's not correct, according to what we are as human beings. Okay? So when someone comes along and says, I'm rational, I want to use the scientific method on Christianity, and I want to dissect it and analyse it, and, and, and I'm looking for a, a scientific world view that's rational and this Christianity doesn't fit. The thing that they're forgetting, or the, well not forgetting, but the thing that they're denying is that they are moral creatures as well. And because they are moral creatures, their, their morality and the way they view things in morality will affect the way they think rationally. So here's an example. I'll prove it to you as an atheist. Do you agree or disagree that, that about uh, being gay is wrong? Do you agree with it or do you disagree with it? Chances are you'll say that I, I agree that I, I think that being gay is okay. I, I, I think it's okay. I think it's fine. That's what you'll probably say as an atheist. So if you believe that being gay is okay, when you come to Christianity with your so-called scientific view and you're looking at Christianity, you're, you have already got a prejudice towards Christianity as you're doing your intellectual inquiry. Alright? Because you think that being gay is fine, but the Bible condemns homosexuality as a sin. So, before you even begin your so-called intellectual analysis on the scientific level, you are actually totally prejudiced. And to think that you can say, well, I will hold this prejudice in, and I will try to look at this Bible in an objective way is just a complete and utter delusion and you you need to accept that and be honest about that okay so I'm just showing you that this this ob, this idea that atheists are neutral and that they're looking at the Bible and Christianity in an objective way first of all denies that we're not just rational but moral and therefore they will have a morality that will affect their rationality and that morality is completely different from the Bible so when they're looking at the Bible they're completely prejudiced towards the Bible that's why when you look at atheist rhetoric on YouTube uh, you never get the atheist actually doing historical critical method of the Bible they never do the Bible in its historical grammatical context what you'll find is the atheist always go to Leviticus and point out Leviticus. Why do they do that? Is it because they're scientific? No. It's because they're prejudiced and they're looking things to back up their prejudice which they think they find in Leviticus. Alright? Thank you for listening and God bless you. And uh, I hope that uh, you are blessed by what I've just said. Take care and beware of the myth of neutrality and objectivity in atheism. Take care now and God bless.